welcome to The Spread. I'm Matt Rabel. This week, SIBO made a couple of big announcements. They're presenting at Deutsche Bank's 10th Annual Global Financial Services Conference, which will be held virtually on May 27th. And they're breaking new ground in Canada through the acquisition of Virtue's Match Now Dark Pool, which SIBO's chairman and CEO, Ed Tilley, said was part of SIBO's ongoing attempts to improve its time of trade data services for customers. Tilly said this during a webinar interview Thursday with Greenwich Associates Managing Director Kevin McPartland. Tilly talked about the importance of SIBO's trading floor and compared trading with a floor broker to buying a car at a dealership. He said in both cases, customers have an easier time negotiating for the best price if it's in person. Just remember not to get the undercoating. JLN published a write-up about it on our site, which you should check out. We also published two new open outcry videos this week from Maureen and Chess Obermeyer, the founders of Mo Options. Maureen and Chess originally met on the SIBO trading floor, later getting married and starting the business that they've run together for decades. Why didn't they stay on the floor? I guess they figured that they could make Mo money themselves. I'm terrible. I'm going to give a quick shout out to Lance Emmons, who recently joined Miami International Holdings, or MIH, the parent company of the Myax Group, as Executive Vice President and Chief Financial Officer. Emmons has over two decades of experience from working at the International Securities Exchange, as well as a number of tech firms, and his role will largely consist of risk analysis and strategic planning. Speaking of financial technology, the crypto news site The Block reported this week that open interest for options on the CME's Bitcoin futures quadrupled overnight, according to new data from SKU Analytics. Between May 11th and 14th, open interest went from $35 million to $142 million. Bitcoin's halving event, which you can read more about on Crypto Markets Wiki, took place on May 12th. Historically, there's been a lot of price movement around the halving, which may explain the sudden surge in positions being written and traded. After all, nobody has ever accused Bitcoin of not being volatile enough. That's going to do it for this week. Stay safe out there and happy trading.